sometimes a single photo can capture a moment that baffles and intrigues us. If we turn back the hands of time, we see some mysterious photos that challenge our understanding of the past and make us wonder what really happened behind the scenes. The heck is that? Shoot, shoot. From a mysterious spaceman-looking dude to a time traveler in 1941, here are 20 rare historical photos that scientists cannot explain. Number 20. A time-traveling hipster from 1941. You've always seen time-traveling dilemmas in the movies and some old fiction. But ever thought it would be caught in real? This photograph from 1941 emerged in 2010 that was taken at the reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Goldbridge, British Columbia, Canada. The man wearing a dark suit, a white shirt, a knitted sweater, and sunglasses seems to have a completely different and modern-looking attire and is supposed to be a time traveler from the future. Because not only is his dress out of place, with nothing matching the 1940s setting, but he also appears to be holding a camera in his hand. This camera is actually a modern time technology which is totally impossible at that time. Just everything about this man is too modern for the 1940s. However, many people and scientists argued about this that his clothing and camera were actually available at that time, and he was not out of space. Everyone did their best job finding more data about the man and his whereabouts and time travel histories, while some were busy making parodies, jokes, and memes about it on the internet. But the real answer to this riddle is still not found. No one knows that it was a time traveler, an unusual dresser, or a simple optical illusion. Number 19. The Babushka Lady Babushka Lady, the mysterious woman of 1963. The lady in a headscarf and glasses was spotted many times during the assassination of U.S. President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963, in Dallas, Texas. She was seen holding a camera and possibly taking photos or videos of the event, but her identity and the footage she captured have never been confirmed. In the photo, she is seen standing on the grassy area between Elm and Main Streets in front of the Dallas County building and has a clear view of the president's motorcade as it passes by. After the shots were fired, she crossed Elm Street and joined the crowd that ran up the grassy knoll, where some people believed the shots came from. She was last seen walking east on Elm Street, away from the scene. The FBI and other investigators tried locating her, but she was nowhere even after a bulletin was issued asking about her information. Maybe she was afraid or unwilling to reveal herself or her film to the authorities for fear of being harassed or threatened by someone involved in the assassination or its cover-up. Who was this lady, and where did she hide herself? No one knows to this day. Number 18. The Astonishing Patterson-Gimlin Bigfoot Film this remarkable encounter with the elusive creature took place in 1967 when Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin embarked on a quest to search for evidence of Bigfoot in the remote wilderness of Bluff Creek, California. The film captured on that fateful day is a grainy yet mesmerizing 59.5 second sequence. It shows a large, ape-like creature striding confidently through the forest, its massive frame covered in dark hair. The creature turns its head to glance directly at the camera, seemingly aware of its audience, before casually disappearing into the dense undergrowth. The debate has raged over the authenticity of the film for decades. Patterson, the film's creator, insisted he had encountered an actual Bigfoot and had captured this once-in-a-lifetime encounter on film. However, many skeptics have questioned the legitimacy of the footage, suggesting it could be a hoax or a cleverly crafted costume. Numerous attempts have been made to analyze the film scientifically, seeking to determine the creature's size, proportions, and gait. Some experts claim that the figure's proportions and movements are consistent with a genuine unknown primate, while others argue that the footage lacks sufficient clarity to draw any definitive conclusions. The Patterson-Gimlin Bigfoot film has become an icon of cryptozoology. Numerous eyewitness accounts and alleged sightings of Bigfoot have added to the allure surrounding this enigmatic creature. Number 17. The Nazca Lines from Above There's an area in Nazca on the southern coast of Peru where the desert is etched with an array of amazing designs, including geometric shapes, various animals, and plants widely spread in the whole desert. But the strange thing is how these designs were made nearly 2,000 years ago. The canvas is stretched over 50 square kilometers in the Peruvian coastal plain, 
and the giant geoglyphs or designs can only be viewed from an aerial perspective, which seems to be impossible for the time. Secondly, the purpose of these lines is also in disguise. Scientists say that the lines and figures align with celestial bodies or events, such as the sun, moon, stars, solstices, and equinoxes. While some theorists proposed that these are religious symbols or rituals, and have argued that the lines and figures represent the Nazca people's beliefs and practices, such as their worship of nature, their ancestors, or their gods. Some speculators have claimed that the lines and figures were intended to communicate with beings from other worlds or dimensions, such as aliens or spirits. But none of these descriptions perfectly conclude the purpose or reason for these lines and designs. No one could explain how they were designed with that much perfection and art. Number 16. The Bizarre Fresno Nightcrawler's Footage In this photograph you can see a type of cryptid animal or creature that look like a pair of white pants that can walk on its own without any upper body or head. They are usually seen at night, moving slowly and silently across the ground. They were first captured on camera in 2007 in Fresno, California, when a man installed a security camera in his garage to find out what was making his dogs bark every night. To his surprise, he saw two strange figures walking across his lawn. He shared the footage with a paranormal investigator and a local TV station, hoping to get some answers. The second time they were recorded was in 2011 in Yosemite National Park, also in California. They were walking among the trees in the dark. The footage was later featured on a TV show called Fact or Faked Paranormal Files, where a team of experts tried to recreate the phenomenon using different methods but failed to do so. The origin and nature of the Fresno Nightcrawlers are still unknown. Some people think they are aliens, some think they are spirits. Even a couple of theories connect them to Native American legends or folklore. However, there is no conclusive evidence or explanation for their existence. Number 15. Eusapia Palladino Levitation Photo The eerie 1920 levitation photo is a famous photograph that supposedly shows a woman named Eusapia Palladino levitating a table during a seance. A French physician took this photo in Paris in 1898. Eusapia Palladino was an Italian medium who claimed to have the ability to communicate with the dead and produce various physical phenomena, such as moving objects, materializing hands, and levitating tables. She was investigated by many scientists and researchers who had mixed opinions about her authenticity. The man who took the photo claimed that it was taken under strict control conditions, with Palladino's hands and feet held by two assistants. He claimed that the table rose in the air without any contact from Palladino, and that the photo was not manipulated or altered in any way. He also stated that he witnessed other phenomena during the seance, such as the appearance of a luminous hand and a face in putty. This photo is one of the most controversial pieces of evidence for Palladino's powers. But many skeptics and critics have challenged the validity of the photo and Gailey's claims. They labeled the photo as flawed with the unnatural position of Palladino's body, the lack of shadows under the table and the possibility of hidden wires or supports. Number 14. Fairy Circles of Namibia Deep in the heart of the Namib desert, a mysterious phenomenon has captivated the minds of ecologists for over half a century, the enigmatic fairy circles. These peculiar circular patches, barren of grass and stretching across 1,100 miles of southern Africa's arid grasslands, have been subject to numerous theories and debates. They may sound whimsical, but there are no fairies at play here. Instead, researchers have debated two main theories, one pointing fingers at termites and the other focusing on the evolution of the grasses. Now, a new study led by the intrepid ecologist Stefan Getzin of the University of Göttingen, Germany, promises to unravel this mystery once and for all. The fairy circles stand out not only for the barrenness within, but also for the thriving growth of grasses encircling them. How do these resilient plants survive in one of the driest places on Earth? Getzen and his team previously hypothesized that the outer ring of plants evolved to optimize their limited water in the desert. To delve deeper into this notion, they embarked on a three-year expedition in Namibia, tracking the grasses' growth and monitoring their water uptake during the drought season of 2020. Intriguingly, the researchers found that the grasses on the outer rings of the circles had evolved a remarkable ability to maximize their limited water supply in the desert. 
They had developed a vacuum system around their roots, drawing water towards them, while the grasses inside the circles, struggling to grow after rainfall, couldn't access enough water to survive. This fascinating discovery points to an example of eco-hydrological feedback, where the barren circles act as reservoirs, sustaining the grasses on the edges but at the expense of those in the middle. The circular formation, it seems, is a logical response to plants coping with water scarcity. Number 13, 1887, Gastev Eiffel's Masterpiece. This photo depicts the unbelievable construction of the world-famous Gastev Eiffel's Masterpiece in 1887. The tower consists of four iron pillars that curve inward and meet at the top, forming a pyramid-like shape. The pillars are connected by horizontal beams and diagonal braces, creating a lattice-like framework that gives the tower stability and strength. But the strange thing is that this tower was built by only 300 people within a period of two years. It was the tallest structure in the world at the time, reaching a height of 300 meters, 984 feet. Then how is it possible to achieve that speed and accuracy with only a few resources portable to that era? That seems quite possible with modern technology, but surely a questionable thing for that old time. Many theories tried to explain this construction in their own way. Was this an extraterrestrial gift offered by aliens a few hundred years ago? Or those 300 people were gifted with some unbelievable sublime power to build the tower in a matter of time? The actual answer is still a riddle. Number 12. Freaky Creature from the Cave In the mid-90s, a chilling discovery was made in a cave in Ras al Khaimah. A tourist took a photo that captured a freaky creature lurking within the cave. Strangely, after snapping the picture, the tourists heard a boy's terrified shriek echoing through the darkness. Alarmed by this eerie encounter, the tourists alerted the authorities. The police conducted a thorough search of the cave and, to their horror, stumbled upon a lifeless human body hidden within its depths. The photo of the mysterious creature quickly gained notoriety, circulating across the globe. But despite its widespread attention, the truth behind the chilling image remained shrouded in uncertainty. What was that creature in the cave? Was it a mere trick of the light or something more sinister? And how did the presence of the creature relate to the tragic discovery of the human body? To this day, the answers to these questions remain elusive, leaving us with a haunting mystery that continues to captivate and perplex us. Number 11. The Solway Firth Spaceman of 1964 now let's talk about that spaceman photographed behind the girl in Solway Firth. The photo was declared clear and original by police and forensics that there was no tempering, and it was the talk of the town in documentaries, TV shows, and news channels back then, supposing different possible answers for it. A UFO author, David Clark, proposed that the figure was actually Templeton's wife, Annie, who was wearing a pale blue dress and had dark bobbed hair. He suggested that Templeton did not notice her in the viewfinder of his camera and that the dress appeared white due to overexposure. He also argued that when the image is darkened and rotated, the figure looks more like a normal person viewed from behind. But others linked the photograph to a failed missile launch in Australia that reportedly involved a UFO sighting. However, none of these explanations have been conclusively proven and the mystery remains unsolved to this day. Do you think the theory makes sense? Number 10. Cop Hanging Photo of 1920 The cop hanging photo of 1920 is a controversial and debated image that claims to show a New York City police officer hanging from a beam over the beautiful Times Square in the 1920s. The photographer of the photo is actually unknown, nor the identity of the police officer is known. Different people have different theories about this photo. However, it is largely believed that the photo is real, and that it shows a daring stunt performed by a police officer or a pilot. They cite examples of similar stunts done by actors or comedians in the silent film era, such as Harold Lloyd or Buster Keaton. But some folks say that the photo is fake, and that it was staged or manipulated using a backdrop, a net, or a cut-and-paste technique. The unknown photographer also raised questions about the authenticity of the photo. Number 9. Goddard Squadron the Goddard Squadron is a term that refers to a group of Royal Air Force pilots who posed for a photo in 1919, allegedly with the ghost of one of their comrades, Freddie Jackson, who had died a few days earlier. 
This snapshot has been widely circulated and debated among people who were interested in the supernatural and the history of aviation. Some insist it's a genuine ghost, with Freddy unaware of his death, seeking to join his friends for the photo. Others speculate it might have been faked for fun, while some attribute it to pareidolia, where the brain perceives patterns or faces in random images. The riddle of the Goddard Squadron remains an enigma, challenging human minds with its mysterious nature. Number 8. Cooper Falling Ghost This photo of a dark figure appearing to be falling or hanging from the ceiling behind them was taken in the year 1950. The lady in the picture is John Cooper, who confirmed that there was no such creature defying gravity or hanging upside down at the time the snapshot was captured. But it only appeared when the film was developed. They also point out the terrified expressions of the family members, especially the children, as evidence of something sinister happening in the room. Was it a hoax or a prank that was created by someone using digital editing software or other techniques? They argue that the figure is too clear and detailed to be a ghost, and that it looks like a cutout from another image, possibly a ballerina or an acrobat. Some people claim that the figure was actually of someone standing on a ladder or a chair or something that was hanging from the ceiling, such as a lamp or a decoration, and he was accidentally captured. Number 7. The 1911 Airship Photo the 1911 airship photo continues to baffle historians and researchers due to its technological advancements ahead of its time. The photograph captures an airship with a design not seen before or after that era, sparking debates about its origin. Many theories have been proposed, from attributing it to a brilliant invention by an unknown scientist to dismissing it as a clever hoax. Some skeptics suggest it might be the work of a skilled video editor, yet no evidence of tampering has been found in the photo. Interestingly, no known photographer has been linked to the image, adding to the mystery surrounding its origins. It remains an enigma in the annals of history, defying straightforward explanations. The 1911 airship photo stands as an enduring puzzle, leaving us with analogies and speculations but no definitive answers. As it remains shrouded in mystery, this peculiar snapshot continues to captivate the imaginations of those fascinated by unexplained phenomena from the past. Number 6. The Black Knight Satellite The photo of the Black Knight Satellite is a source of many conspiracy theories that claim it is an ancient alien spacecraft that has been orbiting the Earth for thousands of years. They say that NASA is engaged in a cover-up of its existence and origin. Many people believe that it was a hoax created by NASA or other agencies to distract the public from the truth about aliens and UFOs while others say that it is a secret spy satellite that was launched by the Soviet Union or the United States during the Cold War and has been monitoring Earth ever since. This photo taken by NASA during the STS-88 mission in 1998 actually shows a piece of space debris that was identified as a thermal blanket that was lost during the mission. The thermal blanket was one of many objects that orbit the Earth as space junk, and it eventually re-entered the atmosphere and burned up. Is NASA trying to hide its dark secrets? Or there's some alien thing involved in it to spy on humans? Everyone is guessing. Number 5. The Unexplained Lunar Lights in the Apollo 14 Mission The unexplained lunar lights in the Apollo 14 mission are a mystery that has not been fully solved by science. This photo clearly shows a weird blue light located miles away that should not be there. Different theories and explanations have been proposed for what they could be. One theory claims that the lunar lights were caused by a reflection of sunlight from the lunar module, or the thermal blanket that was lost during the mission. The reflection could have created a circular flare or a blue light that appeared to the astronauts as a jewel-like object. But why the light moved or changed shape, or why it was not seen by other missions? The theory is mute. There are other claims that they are caused by an electrostatic discharge or a plasma phenomenon on the lunar surface. But still, many things are questionable. We don't know for sure what it was, and we may never know. Number 4. Hesdalen Lights When talking about lights, we can't ignore the mysterious Hesdalen lights that appear in the sky of Norway, sometimes for hours, sometimes for seconds. They can be white, yellow, red, blue, or green and can change shape and size. These lights have been observed since the 1930s but became more frequent and popular in the 1980s. 
Maybe they're reflections of sunlight or moonlight from the lunar module or a thermal blanket that was lost during a space mission. But the local public says that they're caused by incomplete combustion of airborne dust from mining in the area. The dust could contain hydrogen, oxygen, titanium, and other elements that could ignite and produce light. And this could create balls of fire or smoke that float in the air. Extraterrestrial enthusiasts even think that the moon is inhabited by aliens or ancient civilizations, and that they have left behind artifacts or structures that can emit light. Number 3. The Martian Spherules This strange picture taken by NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity at the end of 2012 depicts big spherules in larger numbers, suggested to be made of hematite, a possible sign of the past presence of water. Scientists are still uncertain of what these things might be. These spherules are larger, more numerous, and less iron-rich than the blueberries, already present spherules on Mars. Scientists believe that they are concretions that formed in a different way than the blueberries, perhaps by a different type of water or mineral. While a theory by the University of Western Ontario says that they are impactites that are formed by the melting and solidification of rocks during meteorite impacts. But all the theories are incomplete, and the sphere rules are still a puzzle that awaits further investigation and analysis. Number 2. Naga Fireballs the Naga fireballs are a mysterious phenomenon that occurs on the Mekong River, where glowing balls of light emerge from the water and rise into the sky. There are different opinions and theories about what causes the Naga fireballs, both scientific and non-scientific. Some scientists believe that the Naga fireballs are caused by a natural chemical reaction involving methane gas and phosphine gas that is released from the riverbed and ignited by electricity or heat. Some conspiracy theorists believe that the Naga fireballs are caused by human intervention, such as firing tracer bullets or flares from the opposite side of the river. This theory is based on a documentary that claimed to have filmed soldiers shooting at the river during the festival. Some local people believe that the Naga fireballs are caused by a supernatural force, such as the breath of a giant serpent called Naga, or Faya Nak, that lives in the river. This theory is based on the folklore and legends of the region, which regards the Naga as a sacred and powerful creature that protects and blesses the people. But the end point is that no one knows what causes the Naga fireballs. Number 1. The Hook Island Sea Monster The Hook Island Sea Monster, a mysterious aquatic enigma, fascinated cryptozoologists since 1964. This aquatic enigma made its debut when two photographers, Robert Le Sarek and his wife, captured an extraordinary sight off the coast of Hook Island in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. The Le Sareks were photographing the beautiful underwater scenery when they suddenly spotted a massive and strange creature gliding through the ocean depths. They quickly captured several photographs of the mysterious beast. The photos show a long, serpentine creature with humps, submerging its true identity. The Hook Island sea monster photos sparked intense curiosity and speculation. Cryptozoologists and skeptics debated its identity. Some proposed it was a giant unknown marine animal species, while others suggested it might be a large undiscovered sea serpent. As the photographs gained attention, theories and hypotheses proliferated. Some believed the creature could be a surviving dinosaur or a relic from prehistoric times, while others considered it a hoax or a case of misidentification. Could it be a glimpse of an ancient marine creature that has managed to elude scientific discovery? Or was it simply an optical illusion, a trick of light and water that confounded the observers? Until we have definitive answers, the mystery of the Hook Island sea monster will continue to capture the imaginations of those who venture into the waters off Hook Island.